Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center. And as a knife fanatic, do you ever do that thing where you're watching a movie and someone pulls out a blade and you're craning to try and figure out what it is? Well, that happened to me recently when I went to see The Dead Don't Die, a new subversive zombie comedy movie starring Adam Driver, Bill Murray, and a ton of other big names. So being a zombie flick, obviously I was expecting a machete to show up at some point during the movie, and usually it's simple hardware store machetes that get featured in films like this. So imagine my surprise and delight when Adam Driver's character pulls out a Condor Macara, designed by my friend Joe Flowers, and uses it to great effect in the latter half of the movie. Needless to say, I was geeking out, and on checking out the actual blade once I got back to work Monday morning, my enthusiasm for it has only increased, because beyond the awesome style, this knife really has a lot of things going for it in terms of real-world applications as well. The blade itself is almost 19 inches long, with a nice upswept profile. And as you would expect from a Condor machete, it is made from 1075 carbon steel, and it has a robust convex edge. This blade is a great fit stylistically for a zombie flick because it has a shape that's sort of a machete slash katana sword hybrid. But just holding it in the hand, you can feel immediately that it's gonna work great in real life as well. For vines and branches, and even harder woods most likely, the amount of power you can put into a swing is going to be high indeed. And part of that is thanks to the handles, which are plenty long and have more than enough space for a two-handed grip. Thanks to that extra length, you get a couple of advantages. If you want more leverage in your swing, you can choke way back on it here so that you've effectively increased your blade length to get more power. But for better balance, you can choke right up behind the edge and it's not gonna be quite so unwieldy and you can even do smaller things if you really want to with it. The handles are hardwood and they're put together very well. Condor's fit and finish has always been good enough to get the job done, but nowadays they're better than ever and I've got no complaints about the construction here. There are several tubes that are running through the handle, and the openings are flared and sanded flat. And these are gonna be great for all kinds of lanyard attachments. And because those tube openings have been flared, you're gonna be able to avoid some abrasion that can occur on a crisper tube. I especially appreciate the inclusion of a hole at the top of the handle, which allows fitment of a forward lanyard. This is my preferred way to safely use a lanyard, and it's something that a lot of bigger knives and machetes aren't exactly capable of, although we have been seeing a lot more that can in recent years. And if you want to indulge your inner child, you can even use the holes to lash the Makara to a pole to create a makeshift spear. Finally, we even see a protruding tang at the pommel, and that's great for cracking things open, such as a coconut or maybe even a zombie's skull. One of Condor's traditional strengths has always been their high quality leather sheaths, and that's no different here. The thick brown leather is nice and sturdy, and we have a very nice welt running along the entire edge. We also get two snap loops that hold the spine in place until you're ready to remove the machete from the sheath. Rounding things out, we get a nice leather dangler on the back with a strong D-ring that makes it easy to carry either on the belt or with a baldric, depending on your preferences. Not just great for dispatching zombies, the Condor Makara is a hard-working tool with the chops to do some real work, whether you're at home for yard work or even in a true survival situation in the jungle. Beyond that, it's just plain cool. Sometimes you pull a new knife out of the box and when you hold it, it just makes you smile. Well, I see a lot of new knives every single day and I was grinning ear to ear when I first picked up the Makar. It's just that much fun and I haven't even gotten to use one yet. To get your hands on one of your own, click the link in the description below to head over to knifecenter.com.